hello my dear friends welcome back to my channel today we're going to talk about kaizen kaizen simply means continuous small improvements it is derived from the japanese manufacturing industry which helps you to understand that how you can make small small improvements in your product so that you have the better outcome let us understand how this kaizen is applicable to quit your smoking once and for all So Kaizen simply means making continuous small improvements. If you want to understand the each and every component of Kaizen, I would request you to please do till the end so that you understand every single thing and how it is associated with your addictions and how easy it is for you to apply it in your day-to-day -day life or during this lockdown. Let's get started. First thing is K. K stands for knowledge. Knowledge is very very important for you to understand how to get rid of this addiction as well as how to cut down your smoking or drinking or any other addiction to a very minimum level. If you do not have the right knowledge, if it is incomplete or it is half, it is very dangerous and most likely it push you back again to your original state of smoking and drinking. That means your efforts and your time and your money is wasted so having the right set of knowledge is very very important for you in this journey second most important thing is a a stands for awareness if you are not aware that you are addicted that this habit has created a dependency in your life you are not going to be very successful on this journey of kaizen so if you have an awareness that yes i'm an addict this thing has a significant amount of dependency in my life and i'm aware about this so having an awareness about your addiction is the most important step towards your recovery or towards cutting down this habit third most important thing is i i stands for interest have you ever observed you know if you are naturally interested in doing some activity or doing something you are mostly drawn towards it and you do not need any push so my dear friends you have to make this journey interesting keep adding some you know milestones in it rewards in it that makes it very interesting and somehow you know if you feel this is very boring it could be a very big obstacle for you to go towards this kaizen journey so my dear friends make it more interesting this is not something that is boring it's up to you how you use your creativity to generate that interest fourth thing is the z or z we call it as zoom so most of the time you have, you must have observed that you know a problem comes a thought comes and it gets into a very big mood when you put a lot of energy towards it or maybe you think too much about it so you kind of magnify it into a very big problem so you have to be very aware that you know if you are not feeling good if something didn't happen as per your way or you felt little hurt you do not have to magnify it to make it very big and big because the more it gets bigger the more you are drawn towards your addictions so next time if you feel that i'm not feeling well i'm not worthy enough or i'm not really ready to quit this habit why me uh, i'm having so much of guilt about this or any other thing keep an eye on the zoom factor that are you magnifying it or unnecessarily or is there a real reason you have to look for when it comes to your mind and your thoughts is it really necessary that i have to exaggerate towards things or is it just a small thing that you know it could be solved by a very simple methods or simple solutions the fifth most important factor is the enthusiasm enthusiasm about quitting this habit about cutting down to your addiction to a very minimum level i'll tell you why if you are not enthusiastic about your own recovery about your own goals nobody will and when you are enthusiastic about certain things that yes smoking or drinking this is just a temporary guest in my house they are going to go 
I'm just working towards it. It gives you a sense of enthusiasm that when it's going to happen, I'm working towards it every day, slowly, slowly. I'm making the continuous improvements, slowly, slowly. And that helps you to have an enthusiasm going on an upward direction. Sixth stands for neutral attitude. When you know that your mind has a quality to have a divided thoughts. Should I do this? Should I do that? This is not good. What if, if I do this, what will happen? I'm feeling stressed. I'm feeling guilty. Should I quit this habit? Should I, sh shouldn't I quit this habit? Etc. Etc. A simple example would be your mind goes from one extreme to another extreme in very less time. One extreme would be, I want to smoke today because I'm feeling very, very stressed. Life is not fair with me. I'm not feeling great. So let me smoke a packet today. Another extreme would be, wow, it's a great thing. Good things are happening, finally happening in my life. It's my friend's birthday. It's my friend's bachelor party. Let me smoke today. Let me enjoy the life today. So in both the cases, the only one factor remains constant is the smoking or your addictions and it doesn't it doesn't matter whether you do it in a stressful period or a joyful period but still your body is paying the price every time when you lit up that cigarette or do any kind of addiction so my dear friends please 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 keep an eye on your thoughts and please understand am i having a very drastic thoughts and am i taking a very you know extreme action towards it and the more you watch this shift from one extreme to other extreme, the more you are going to be into a neutral mode. So let me quickly recap it for you. K stands for knowledge, the right knowledge. A stands for awareness about your habit, about your addiction. I stands for interest, a genuine interest that I am interested in to quitting this habit, not to stick with it. Z stands for zooming at your situation, whether am I magnifying my problems to a level that is drifting me to get into addiction or it is just a small thought or a problem that can be easily solved. E stands for enthusiasm, how much enthusiastic I am towards my recovery, how, how I am implementing some reward or some milestone in it and how I am using my creativity to put the best outcome by feeling enthusiastic towards my recovery. The last one, N stands for neutral attitude. That means, am I being neutral towards my attitude, my behavior, my thoughts going from one extreme to another extreme and getting this practice into my daily life so that I understand how mind works and how it is important for me to come to a neutral level so that my mind doesn't overpower me and drift me towards my addictions. So that was a quick recap of Kaizen. The more you put this Kaizen into your practice, that will help you to cut down your smoking or drinking or vaping or any other addiction to a very minimum level. Once that happens, it is very easy for you to quit it, finally. So make this small, small improvements every day. My dear friends, thank you very much for watching this video and understanding the core concepts of Kaizen and how to apply it into your day-to-day -day life. I'm very, very thankful for the people who are subscribing to my channel, for liking my videos and sharing this knowledge globally to achieve my mission of helping 100,000 people to live a smooth free life.